<clears throat> so today I want to do a reaction video on a movie that I just saw. So this is one of the first times I've ever done one of these, so just bear with me. Hopefully it doesn't go too long, and I also don't want to spoil the movie for anybody that has that wants to go see this because it just released. So this is for the Mr. Rogers movie. I think it's called A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood or Won't You Be My Neighbor, one of the two, but anybody that knows Mr. Rogers knows. I don't know. And I want to go into just basically two aspects of this movie. Uh, one aspect of the movie itself and the, the character of Mr. Rogers and going into his life a little bit, but also a little bit of Tom Hanks as well. So, once again, like I said, I'm, I'm also going to try not to spoil the movie because I don't want to give it away. I want people to be able to come here and be like, oh, should I go see this movie? So, right off the bat, should you go see this movie? Definitely yes. Definitely. De if you know anything about Mr. Rogers or if you grew up in the time frame of Mr. Rogers, you definitely have to go see this movie. Uh, it is a little different than what... I thought it was potentially going to be, but then it exceeded my expectations um, for the impact that it makes, and partly because of the life of Mr. Rogers and also the performance of Tom Hanks. Um, I will tell you, uh, if you do bring your kids, like this is, you can bring your kids, but it's really not for kids. <laughs> it really isn't. I, 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 um, I have a nine-year-old and a seven-year-old, and they were somewhat bored. There, there are some parts in there that kids will go, oh, and and don't forget the the young kids now. Uh, if they watched Daniel Tiger, Daniel Tiger is a cur direct cartoon spinoff of the Mr. Rogers Show. So some of the songs, the kids will know. Like that's actually a, a more touching part where. Mr. Rogers or somebody in the movie might be singing one of his um, popular songs and if you have your kids with you they'll know the song and they'll start singing and you're just like oh wait a minute I forgot Daniel Tiger is one of Mr. Rogers characters but uh, it really goes into who not all the intricacies of of Mr. Rogers per se like like there are talks of Mr. Rogers being prime military, being a sniper, doing all that stuff. Like it's not like it goes into all that. It really just goes into the, the to the impact. You get to see the impact that Mr. Rogers has on uh, the stories that he shares with us, and and how he shares and why he shares uh, what he does through a story that that. Let's move into this other part that Tom Hanks has done once again. A magnificent job uh, perfecting his craft to really get you to dive into the character. I will say that Tom Hanks did another Forrest Gump type performance where in the beginning of the movie when you first see Tom Hanks you see Tom Hanks and you know he's playing a character but then a time hits in the movie where you no longer see Tom Hanks. It, it sounds weird, but if you watch this movie, there, there, there comes, you know, a time where there's like a transition where, no, you're like in the movie now, and like your emotions are invested in this movie, and, and you're thinking it brings you back to childhood, or it brings you to another place where you think differently, you're reflecting different, and, and I, they're, they're, it's a magical combination of a Tom Hanks type actor portraying a Mr. Rogers type person in a movie. Um, it was a pretty magical movie. It really was. Uh, I, I appreciate it very much. Tom Hanks, if you're listening, um, I appreciated your performance big time because it made me think outside of just your performance which I think you're a thoughtful type actor and you picked this role or this role was picked for you because of the kind of actor that you are 
and then Mr. Rogers, or you know, he might not be alive anymore, but his family and everything that he stood for, and the people that were on, like, produced the show, uh, I think it did a very good job of going through uh, what it takes to also deal with the type of Mr. Rogers personality uh, on and off set. So, without ruining it, um, it's a very uh, they talk about some more heavy topics, subjects, that once again, it, kids can go to this movie, but I don't think it, it is a kids movie at all. Uh, and as an adult, you might find yourself uh, more emotional after this movie or during this movie. You have to be prepared for that. Um, but also just be open to <laughs> the Mr. Rogers show like you were when you were a kid and just receive what he has for you and what Tom Hanks has for you and then reflect on it and just let it roll. So, a definite must-see. I'm looking forward to um, hearing what you guys think about that movie and try not to spoil it for other people like in the comments or so until it's been out long enough and, and maybe we'll just do another uh, reflection on this movie maybe three or six months from now because by then after it's out and people have been talking about it great but, it, but I hope I've done at least a better job of letting you know that you should definitely go see this movie and looking forward to hearing your replies later. Have a great day and I hope you'll be my neighbor. <laughs> Have a great day.